Kinu mandarins are one of the staple exports of Pakistan, providing livelihood to half a million farmers, exporters, and their families. Pakistan has been constantly exporting kinu globally since the turn of the century. In 2008, the kinu exports from Pakistan totaled $10 million, with France, Germany, Russia, the Netherlands, United Kingdom, USA, Canada, and Japan, rounding off the top eight importers. However, in 2013, the exports jumped to $148 million, with these same countries demanding more of this produce to cater for their ever-growing domestic market, placing Pakistan in the top 10 list of global exporters of Kinu. With the increase in production of Kinu now exceeding 2 million tons, Pakistan has the capability to achieve the projected export of $500 million by 2017, provided that the appropriate measures, SPS and GAP, are applied and enforced, thereby moving Pakistan further up the list of exporters to the top five. In order to facilitate exports, European Union-funded trade-related technical assistance program implemented by UNIDO in association with ITC and WIPO is standardizing the farming and processing techniques to increase production and reduce post-harvest losses and to facilitate small and medium farmers as well as exporters to implement good practices all along the supply or value chain. The Pakistani Kinu has higher juice content to its fruit weight, which allows you to squeeze more juice out of every fruit, with a unique acid to sugar ratio, giving it a sweet, tangy, and refreshing taste. A strategy has been developed in association with Citrus Research Institute, University of Agriculture, Faisalabad, Pakistan Horticulture Development and Export Company, the Trade Development Authority of Pakistan, and all sector stakeholders for the enhancement of Kinu exports. Codes of practices are being disseminated through farmer field schools, five per month over the past two years, and specific trainings to local growers, farmers, and exporters. Training topics include the proper sanitary and hygiene measures, judicious use of fertilizer, pesticide, irrigation methods, cultivation, accurate harvesting techniques, grading, transportation of the fruit, processing, storage, and transport. A number of high-value addition opportunities have been identified such as introducing grading techniques and through branding of regional specificity and exclusive characteristics through geographic indicators. Complying with SPS measures, the processors use appropriate quantities of quality wax and fungicide to avoid post-harvest diseases and increase the shelf life of the fruit. Moreover, these interventions have also attracted the interest of the private sector. National and international juice and preserves manufacturers are now actively considering Pakistani Kinu as an attractive fruit to enrich their product portfolio, like Nestle. Also, a bilateral cooperation program, the Australia-Pakistan Agriculture Linkages Program, has also realized Pakistani Kinu as a product with interesting export perspectives once the requirements of the GAP and SPS compliance measures are assured to allow for processing of this fruit into value-added food items that are safe for human consumption. In addition, TRTA2 program is closely working with CBI of the Netherlands to develop trade linkages and business-to-business -business contacts to facilitate exports of fresh Pakistani produce to the European Union and ASEAN countries. With these earnest collaborative efforts, Pakistani Kinu is now bound to promote a unique Pakistani flavor in regional and international markets and to bring economic prosperity to the Pakistani people.